if the White House talks lead not to a conclusion that we can go forward together to reduce spending, which is our single biggest problem, then <clears throat> what uh, is the alternative? And so what I've told my members is that <clears throat> we will have available uh, a sort of backup plan that would operate as follows. I would advocate that we pass legislation giving the President the authority, the authority to request of us an increase in the debt ceiling that would take us uh, past the, uh, the end of his term. That is what he has said. He said he will not sign a debt ceiling that does not take us past the end of his term. In this legislation, if it were to pass, he would make three separate requests of us. The first request would be initiated by passing the legislation in the next few weeks. He would send up a request of us to raise the debt ceiling probably by $700 billion. That would be subject to a resolution of disapproval. If you're thinking of an analogy, think of the Congressional Review Act. That resolution of disapproval, if passed, would then go to the President. He could sign it or he could veto it. Presumably, he would veto it. If that were the case, that veto would be sustained by one-third plus one in either the House or the Senate. The legislation also would, re <clears throat> would require him to, to list, would not implement these cuts unilaterally, but would <clears throat> require him to, to list spending cuts he would make in the same amount as the debt ceiling request he's making of us. Then there would be a second request based upon his desire to have enough debt ceiling to get him through the end of his term. There'd be a second request in all likelihood in the fall. It would follow the same procedure. He would ask us to raise the debt ceiling. I think it's highly likely that both houses would consider and probably pass resolutions of disapproval which, if they passed, he would veto, and those uh, uh, resolutions would be sustained. They'd be over, th th his veto would be sustained by one-third plus one. That would go happen one more time in June.